I mentioned previously in another podcast that I'm a little bit on a podcast, I might be on Open Tabs. Definitely make sure you check out my show, Open Tabs. It's like a live stream show that I put together. Um, usually, you know, I do them whenever I have some time, but I basically live stream and go through some Open Tabs. Mainly, I'm going to try and make sure I keep them to video content so it's a bit mixed. Um, I mix up a bit from the stuff that I talk about on the podcast, but definitely check out Open Tabs available on my channel. Get on there now. Anyway, um, so I mentioned in another show that I wasn't that optimistic about the future of dance music, right? I was kind of thinking, ah, oh, you know what? Things are going to change. You're not going to be exactly the same because I feel like there's a lot of patterns we're still seeing now, even with the whole playgraves, right? Most playgraves are usually being, um, are usually, cont- yeah, most playgrave lineups have the same old names and faces that you see prior to the whole playgrave thing kicking off. They were the ones that are basically, uh, basically, um, described under the business techno moniker right they're the same people that are now playing these uh parties that they probably shouldn't be playing at flying to location they probably shouldn't be going to all under the guise of kind of making sure people are dancing cool whatever it may be but i felt like the lineups and the people that are going to these events have basic an illustration as to maybe not how broken the industry is but how fragmented it is and it's just certain things are just going to be the way they are because they're the way they are and those people who are willing to fly to all across the side of the world to go and play places are usually the ones that sell the most tickets so because they sell the most tickets promoters are going to keep booking them and events and lineups won't really change that much going forward but I'm kind of optimistic about it because I thought randomly about um, how Bergheim handled the whole Black Lives Matter movement when obviously um, George Floyd was unfortunately killed by the hands of police uh, during that, you know, unfaithful evening where he was, you know, effectively freaking out a bit, you know, judge, judging by the um, body cam footage, but he just didn't deserve to die in that manner in any way, shape or form. And when those unfortunate events sort of like rolled out and were spread across the world, everyone kind of took action in different ways. People did some of those kind of wanky black squares and stuff, but for the most part, black um, Bergheim were pretty quick to shut doors and to also make sure that they did this sort of performative display of solidarity where they initially uh, boarded up the entire front door of the Burkine complete black and then had the list of in memory of Black Lives Matter lost the racist police violence in the United States and Germany. They had a list of people who unfortunately died at the hands of police, right? And they're kind of listed here, say their names, a complete list of people, right? Really, really touching, I thought at the time, poignant display of solidarity to people who were going through things that, you know, maybe your average clientele at Bergheim probably doesn't give a fuck about, right? They just want to go and dance and rave and do their thing. And then it got me thinking about how in general, Bergheim seems to handle things in a very classy way, right? I think about even the backlash they got with all the st- with the stamps and the re-entry shit, but for the most part, they seem to handle stuff pretty well and they seem to address things behind the scenes as they're meant to be addressed as opposed to doing performance stuff on social media. And then it made me think about, okay, if that's the case and Bergheim looked, about, looked at as like the thought leaders and the sort of touch point and the kind of cultural leaders i'd get i guess right most you know most major markets in europe have tried to copy one element of how the bergheim is run obviously it does sometimes with very levels of success but they seem to be the people that everyone seems to copy if that's the case and if they're the ones doing that then there's a feeling that i have that they might reopen and decide to do something amazing where they just sort of say hey we're going to revamp our lineup we're committed to having this amount of people on our lineup from these these backgrounds we're committed to promoting these voices we're permit we're committed to putting on a particular night during the week that is specifically for pr- pr- providing a platform for people that aren't representative unrepresented sorry in dance music where it's lgbtq trans certain people for certain races whatever it may be i have a feeling that they're going to do that again this is just from my uh, just kind of intuition from what i basically saw them do last year at the height of the racial tensions around the world and just how they've kind of conducted themselves so far i've not really heard of any sort of wrongdoings between now and then the, the most craziest thing to happen is a fire that wasn't even at the main building right there's been no real misstep from them and i kind of feel like the people that are involved in the behind the scenes are kind of clued in 
and they kind of know what the long game is about and if this is a real issue that needs to be addressed i feel like the only way it will be addressed is for the people at the top who are sort of leading things to just put the changes in place and then unfortunately the promoters that don't want to take the risk will just have to take it because everyone sort of expects that from them they're just going to copy and follow suit um and then of course this married up with people on the ground level smaller promoters doing kind of their thing going out of their way to of course do you know their own little parties put on their own little nights i think that's going to really help as well going forward how oh, i missed that door so much but anyway um it's going to help a lot as well going forward but i definitely do think in the future we will see burger and the panel bar do something in terms of representing unrepresented voices within dance music that will then lead to everybody else copying and lead to then a systemic change that we've probably never seen before that's my optimistic point of view i don't know if it's true if it's not but i do have a feeling that might happen in 2021 going forward especially with the vaccine and things opening up pretty soon i think there's going to be a need for things to reopen of course but also a need for all those promises that were made last year to be somehow put into action and there's no better person to do it or no better institution than the church that is also known as Burkine. that's my opinion but who knows